Why I hate artificial colors. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little video describing the dangers or why I do not like artificial food coloring. So kind of my first dislike for artificial colors came maybe about 10 years ago when I would look up supplements and I wanted the least amount of filler and everything. And I kind of viewed artificial colors as like a filler. Like it does absolutely nothing to help the drink, the mix, whatever you're, you're using. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't help the flavor, it doesn't do anything, but they put it in there and it's not necessarily needed. I was just always put it in the back burner. Well, I don't need it, but at least it's not gonna affect me in a bad way. That's what I thought, you know? The main problem I had was I love buying these like supplements, like energy mixes or pump mixes, and I find these great deals on eBay, just absolute steals. But the problem that I had was probably about like 80%, 85% of all supplements contain these artificial colors. So I was like, man, I got these good deals. I bought all these like, literally like four or five um, jugs of certain products, you know, just stocking up because the products were so good. And, you know, so I was having artificial colors every day. And I really don't know exactly the, the specific events that made me kind of figure out that they, they disrupt me, but um, I ended up somehow doing a test and figuring it out. And now it's to the point where I literally cannot have any of these like under almost any circumstance. I don't even wanna give myself an opening to ever take them. But if I were to have, let's say one sip of something, or if I were to have like one or two hard candies, I probably would be good. And I've actually been um, getting these trail mixes that have like chocolates in there, little bits of M&Ms and M&Ms have the artificial coloring, but because it's not straight M&Ms, it's like M&Ms in the mix, I don't really have those issues with the artificial colors. So you're like, you may be thinking, oh, well, maybe it's in your head, Josh. Maybe you watched like a TikTok video that said it was bad and now you think that it's messing with you, but it's really just in your head. There's a lot of really creepy, weird stuff that involve these artificial colors. So there's a video on YouTube and they literally say that they make food coloring from high quality scrap metal. High quality scrap. It's another source of iron and it's about to be recycled into pigment. I don't want to eat scrap metal. I'll tell you that much right now. You go and do more research and most of them say they're like petroleum based, which is like oil, which is like, I don't know enough about petroleum. I should have freaking Googled it before this, but I assume it, I think it's like oil and gas. So it's like made from like some little bits of like car oil and stuff. It's not anything that's good, either whether it's scrap metal or whether it's petroleum, I don't want either one of those, you know? And I've heard this and I cannot verify this, so don't hold me to it, but I heard that they have basically industrial waste and it makes sense because it's, they say it's scrap metal, but they have industrial waste. They turn this waste into colors because they have nowhere to, they, they can't do anything with it. They have nowhere to put it. They turn it back into colors. And then the government gives you a kickback, like you're helping me get rid of this waste by putting it back in your food. So here's a kickback. So that's why I think it's so prevalent and that's why I think so many people use them. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, it's branded. It's like FDNC. You're getting involved with that company. You have to use that company. Like the, the company is getting a kickback versus if you use like a natural food coloring, nobody is getting a kickback. So there's some confusing style money numbers in there. And then as well as it's going to be very, very, probably a lot cheaper than putting the natural food coloring in there. And they're, you know, cranking out tons and tons and tons of products. So it probably would increase the cost just a little bit. But there is this one TED talk that I think everybody needs to absolutely see. They are man-made, petroleum-based, and banned in many countries. He's having emotional meltdowns and temper tantrums, the likes of which I had never seen. He would scratch at himself. He would shred at his clothes. He would swing on me. It took three months for him to recover physically enough to play with the neighborhood kids. And it was obvious that the dyes were causing some physical metabolic disruptions as well as psychological reactions. The best part was that just days after we removed the dyes from his diet, the emotional fits completely stopped. He knows what it dyes feel like and he avoids them vehemently. Each dye affects him differently. Go to any kid's party and they're everywhere. I had a doctor tell me once that he wonders just how many kids are on medications when in fact they're having a reaction to artificial food dyes. Ironically, most medications for behavioral problems contain artificial food dyes. Any child with emotional disruption should be checked for a food dye intolerance. Some restaurant food 
theater popcorn, medications, both prescription and over the counter. It's like, I wanna say maybe about 20 minutes. I don't know how long ago it was, but it's about a mom, at least one of her kids has a severe, severe reaction to artificial colors and she goes so, so in depth. You know, this kid was having just nonstop issues. So it's a very, very, very good video. I totally recommend that anybody watch it. It's probably the best video that describes like the dangers or the possible dangers of food coloring. And then on top of that, like the food coloring we used is banned in Europe. I mean, there's all these food additives. You would have had to done some study that would prove that they met something up like why would you ban them I got this from the video so I am taking it but if you go to fast food places over in Europe all the colors are natural and what's crazy about it too is the colors they use naturally are good for you like they use turmeric for coloring they use beet roots for like red and they use spirulina for blue all those are really good so you would have actually had like a benefit to your meal but now on top of you getting no benefit they put you know the straight poison in there I don't want to say okay I don't wanna to get too crazy with it, but an additive that we don't need in there, basically. We used to have an artificial color like orange something. I'll probably put it in this video, but they um, gave a bunch of orange candy out on Halloween one year. I think it was like in the 60s or something. And a bunch of people got sick off this orange and they recalled the orange. If I were to describe like the way that I feel on these, there's really nothing else like it. And what's so sneaky about these freaking artificial colors is when you feel them kick in because it's so far after when you had it you know if you're not thinking you have no idea it was the artificial colors so there was this supplement that i really like it contains blue now blue one or blue two blue is the absolute worst for me i i'm mm -mm, no blue i hate blue but i loved this supplement back in the day and i was even telling my friend i was like you know, I hate colors, I'm not gonna have colors, but I love this stuff. I'll just have like one, one scoop and I'll use it sparingly, you know? So I, I bring it to work, we have a scoop, I'm feeling great. Now this stuff had Ampaberry in it, which is supposed to be like a next level stimulant and it had like another, a lot of other feel good stuff in it. I don't know what it was, but I just felt great, you know? Then about two, three hours comes and all of a sudden like, I just feel like completely shut down. The ways I would describe it is it's kind of like agitated and you can't think. I couldn't do anything socially. When I would think about interacting with any person in my life, anything, I would envision a negative thing that I had to say to him. I couldn't connect with people. It lasted like 12, 24 hours and then it lingered a little bit long past then, you know? So, Blue is the absolute worst. And I remember back in the day, blue kind of makes me, I think it makes me feel a little high. Then it makes it like to the point where like, I, I can't think, I hate, I am terribly moody. I don't want, I don't want to do anything. Like I can't connect with anybody, just absolutely terrible. Red, if I had to have one, I would have red 40, as my, even though it's like freaking poison. If I had to have one, I'd have red. It doesn't mess with my mood as much. Usually I feel red like in my skin. It seems like something's like under my skin. Um, red also gives me headaches, you know, like I've noticed for sure, like a, a higher chance of getting a headache on red. And you know what's funny is I remember this time when I was like nine or 10 at my friend's house and we weren't allowed to have soda and my friend was allowed to have soda. So instead of having waters, I was just chugging these Hawaiian punches, right? And I just had this splitting headache and I kept thinking, oh, it's because I was drinking soda instead of water, which it probably was, but it coincidentally had red 40 in it, you know? Um, and it's not every time, but it's just a much higher chance of a headache on red 40. The other main one that they use is yellow. And I don't know, something's up with yellow. Like, uh, it seems like it messes with my mood, but not as much as blue. You know what's funny is like people have kind of made fun of me or like, you know, like, oh, you're, a, I almost have to tell them like I'm allergic or I can't have them. And it's almost like after trying this blue again, I, that's the way it is. I'm sorry, like I can't have any of this stuff. And I just I'm imagine like how many people are drinking this stuff, having this stuff all the time, you know what I mean? And it's just, just on the off chance that you could find a negative effect if one out of a hundred did, I'm kind of using this from another video, but if one out of a hundred of us had a problem to these food colorings, like that's a lot, a lot of people and they're in everything. And it's actually sickening to see how much stuff that food coloring is in. Most of the BPI have no artificial colors. There's a few that do, but most of the BPIs don't and they actually list it on top. 
Um, there's a brand called Redcon One. They don't use any, every single product I've ever seen, they don't use any of them. Um, Bang Energy is really good. Like The Rock's new energy drink is really good. I'm kind of blanking on them, but if there's any more, I'll put them on screen because I remember like all the stuff that doesn't have them. Not right now I don't, but most of the time I remember all this stuff and I'll put them on screen in case you want to try some stuff that doesn't have any artificial coloring. So artificial colors are in absolutely everything. Like literally like almost all over the counter medication, all prescription medication. Like if a, if a medication isn't white, it has artificial colors in it. And you got to think that if in order for it to be a pharmaceutical, I don't think it can contain natural things because you can't patent natural things. So it has to have the colors in it. I mean, it's in cakes, it's in cereals, it's in juices, it's in Gatorade and Powerade. I mean, it, any colored drink almost, especially if it's cheap, almost guaranteed to have colors in it. So if I was you and you were kind of wondering about this, see how you, your, your mood feels the rest of the day after you have like a large amount of colors. Like I would say maybe a couple bags of Skittles or any large colored drink and see if you feel it. Like um, again, red kind of agitates me more. Yellow messes with my mood, I haven't tested it enough. And blue makes me feel like super high and then like terrible. Just, it was almost like I, I was like panicky and I was wanting to talk to people, but I, I was so not even myself. I didn't even want to talk to them. You know what's weird is it's a specific feeling that I have not had since the last time I had the blue. So anyways, guys, this is a long rant on artificial colors. If I forgot something, I'll try to link it down below. I've wanted to make this video for a long time. I feel very passionately about this. I don't know if you guys have figured that out. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.